oxide is O2 minus. And what do you do next? Crisscross cross, applesauce, drop it like it's cold. Hot. Thank you. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. So the two crisscrosses down. So it's K2. Oh. Crisscross applesauce, drop it like it's hot. Cold. Phosphide or phosphate? Um, when do you use prefixes? 3C is incorrect. Part of it's correct, but um, the other part's not. You put trichromium 3 phosphate. Wait, which is I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Hold on. Uh, good. I'll be right there. Someone was first, and then. Number 3C. You put <coughs> look. You put chromium phosphorus oxide. PO4. So then you what? What do you do? Crisscross Criss applesauce. Drop it like it's hot. Miss, you gotta actually do it. It's not. It's not that cool when you don't do the whole. Oh, when I don't do the entire thing. Oh, yeah. this is the abbreviated, the remix version. <laughs> the two goes down. K2. Oh. Because the one crisscrosses over. Um, sulfur. Don't I have something different on your paper? Yeah. Yeah, because this was not right. Diphosphorus. Pentoxide. Yeah, so P2O5. And then the last one, you have to uncrisscross. You have to. <laughs> I'm doing it backwards, you know, rewinding. <laughs> I reversed it, yeah. Um, so, that had a 2 there, because that was a typo. So the 2 came from the chromium, so this was Cr2+, phosphate is PO4, 3 minus. So this is chromium 2, phosphate. Fourth period is about to start like in 20 minutes, but it is that time of the year where I just, the kids were like, I, don't, I think they put it up, <laughs> but during lunch, I had a lot of kids in my like, classroom, and one of the students was like, Mr. Elias, and so he pulls up the marker, and he's like, what is this? <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, because normally before I allow the class to be dismissed, I have them put everything back into their boxes, and I go around, and I check to make sure everything's organized. But I've already said this like the last two or three vlogs, that towards the end of the year, this time of the year, historically this time of the year, um, I just start becoming disorganized, and I'm like, on the countdown to the end of the semester. And I think my body just starts physically getting prepared for a break, just like being in bed for several days, just watching TV and vegging out. That um, it starts it starts preparing itself for hibernation. So, <laughs> um, other than that, I'm gonna get ready to um, start next period. How many electron regions are around the phosphorus? Four. Four. Because single bond counts as one, that's two, that's three, and a lone pair also counts as one. So that's four regions. So you come to the sheet under four regions, and it is, yes, trigonal pyramid. So it's two, four, six, eight, four, you need to get to 14. 10, 12, it's wet, it's cold, <clears throat> and we have a week and a half of school left. Time to go home. So students are turning in their work on time. That's a good thing. It's a sign that the students are doing their work. I guess they don't want Saturday school again. Um, so today it's, today's Thursday, it's B-Day. And so they're finishing up the stations, um, which my, my A-Day students did on Monday because they were ahead, they started the stations on Friday, and then I saw them again Monday. 
And so B-Day, they're finishing the stations, the covalent bonding learning stations today, and then I have them tomorrow, and so they will be doing what my 8A classes did yesterday. This week has been relatively easy because um, just one of the reasons I love the A-B block schedule, um, I had everything set up, and we were just doing a whole bunch of different activities. So other than that, let me just get my stuff set up so that way um, I can begin the day and get some grading done. So today marked the last stations activity of the semester. Um, I'm gonna leave a station set out because I have students, just a few students who missed class because this week was the EOC retest and of course exams um, for English 1, 2, Biology, Algebra 1, and US History. So just depending on which test they had to make up, um, they missed class and so I'm gonna leave a set out for those students to come either before school, during lunch, or after school to finish the sets. Um, today was another great day. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to go to the gym because it's getting dark right now um, and it's supposed to perhaps freeze tonight so I want to make sure I run to the gym um, and then get home before all that happens. It's actually snowing in Austin, Texas and people are losing their minds. Hopefully school isn't canceled tomorrow because I'd rather not sacrifice a um, an off day in the spring, especially when it's a really nice day, for just a like few inches of snow here in Austin. It's Friday and we had no school because we had a snow day. Um, it actually snowed for the first time in years here in Austin yesterday. Um, and it is what it is. We'll have to make up the day sometime in the spring. Um, the only, so we had no school today. The district sent out an email. Um, like around 9 o'clock last night, canceling school for the entire day, no two-hour delay, just canceling it flat out. Um, so the only issue that I'm having right now is because my B-Day classes were supposed to learn something new today. Not Nothing difficult. Um, my A-Day classes got it pretty quickly, but I only have one more cl full class day with my B-Day classes uh, next week, which is Tuesday, and then final start Thursday. And my sixth period class, um, they take their finals. That's the only final I have on Tuesday because I don't have a fifth period class. So I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with my sixth period class. Seventh period, they still have some time because they take their final um, two Tuesdays from now on the final day of the semester. So, but with that said, that's been my week, no complaints. And so I'm going to enjoy the rest of my snow day. Well, that's it. If you're interested in checking out some of my other clips, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.